Hello all. Now we are going to understand one of a commonly used crystal oscillator, which is known as Peirce crystal oscillator. So from the previous session, you have understood now um, how a crystal oscillator works. What are the different frequencies at which it works? Okay, now we are going to get familiarized with one of the commonly used crystal oscillator. And oscillator circuit is shown here. And it is very similar to an ordinary oscillator circuit by now, which you are very familiar with. You have the resistors R1, R2 and R used for biasing. You have the radio frequency chalk, which blocks the AC signal um, from the, and so that the power lines are protected or you get proper biasing. You have the emitter bypass capacitor, which bypasses the AC signal. Uh, the functioning of that which you might be you know, may be very uh, familiar with now and uh, you have the coupling capacitor now you can have the additional um, crystal oscillator which is given in the feedback circuit part so feed, uh, the crystal oscillator is set in series with the base and the collector part so this is where it comes and uh, you know the output signal you get here and that is fed through the coupling capacitor in order to block the DC and it is given to the crystal oscillator. And you have understood that the crystal oscillator with various resonant frequencies and here in Pierce crystal oscillator it is set to resonate at the series resonant frequency where the resonant frequency F0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LC1 where you know C1 and L are the induct capacitance value and the inductance value of the um, capacitor and inductant inductor which comes in the equivalent circuit of a crystal okay so that is all about this now uh, you just have to keep in mind is that crystal oscillator is always preferred because because it produces very uh, stable oscillations the voltage variations or the transistor parameter variations which happens with the over or with the voltage fluctuations or with the uh, variation in the temperatures that all these tra transistor parameter variations and all the power supply variations actually doesn't affect the frequency of oscillation in a crystal oscillator so this is that is why it is more used because of the high frequency uh, stability and the phi q factor of the crystal oscillator so this is all about the pierce crystal oscillator so thank you very much